So welcome back everybody. Today is of course a very, very exciting day. Uh, ever since we started this channel, Fall Line Ridge, and have been posting these videos, I have been getting comments about how much I need a front end loader for the tractor, uh, how much I needed a tractor with a front end loader, uh, something along those lines. And uh, every time I got that comment, I wholeheartedly agreed with it, but the problem was I was just in no position uh, to upgrade or put a loader on the tractor that I had. I really didn't want to put a loader on the Ford 3000 because of that front axle. It's kind of weak and um I, you know it, it, nothing i don't want to say nothing really worked out it just wasn't the right timing i guess you could say uh, but i am very happy to report uh, the timing has changed and uh, it became the right timing and uh here in the background you see we have had a very 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 major upgrade around here uh, so behind us we see a uh, l4701 kubota with a construction attachments grapple on the front of it uh, we'll get a little bit of a closer up look later on but right now uh, I'm going to take this thing around of course as you can imagine there's a lot of little things around here that I've kind of been cleaning up uh, limb piles uh, brush piles that kind of thing that have just been kind of strewn about because uh, it's really a pain to move brush piles around by hand so what we're going to do first is take this thing through its paces uh, get a little bit of footage of that and um, then we'll get an up close and personal look at it and I will I will show y'all uh, share all the details of it so let's go
So guys, I think you pretty well get the picture there. Uh, it does a great job picking up vines and stuff. We're gonna put a little more ballast on the back. It actually came with ballast already in the back tires, which helps out a lot. And it does a pretty good job moving logs, but of course, as you can imagine, once those logs get larger, uh, the back end gets a little bit light. So we're gonna put this on the back. I have a friend that's gonna help me weld up even more ballast for the back here. So that's gonna help out a lot too. But for now, we'll just go ahead and put this box blade on and we'll put a log up on the sawmill, which is something that I haven't done yet. I did move some logs around the yard just to get them a little more organized, but I have not put one on the sawmill yet, so we'll see what happens. And then maybe if we have time, we'll put the bucket on the front and move some gravel around in the driveway.
That was just way too easy. Let's go scratch it up. So guys, that's pretty well gonna do it for the running around, picking up limbs, uh, moving gravel, showing off, that kind of stuff part of this video. Um, now I wanna get a little bit of a closer look and just kind of show y'all what the machine is. And um, I'm running out of time because it's starting to rain here, but why I chose this particular model and, um, and that's a, about it because I don't know a whole lot about it just, uh, just quite yet. So let's do a quick walk around before I get rained out here. So again, this is the Kubota L4701 tractor with the LA765 loader on it. And you saw earlier the grapple that I was using is the construction attachment 60 inch grapple. It's um, a company out of North Carolina that makes them and uh, it appears to be a pretty solid machine. Uh, let's, get, let's go up under the shed here and continue this video. All right, so I think most of the rain is over. We um, had a little quick pop-up shower there. So uh, yeah, that's the model that I chose to go with. And uh, it's hydrostatic. It has, of course, the third function on the hydraulic system to run the grapple. Um, you know, I don't know a whole lot else to say about it. Um, it did come with ballast in the rear tires. I've got plans with a friend to um, uh, weld up some ballast on the, uh, on the box blade as well. So that'll help out without ruining the box blade, thankfully. Um, we get a closer look here on the right side of the operator station. We've got our um, three-point hitch up and down. We've got, of course, our hydrostatic treadle pedal here. Now, this is something that I thought was going to take me a while to get used to. In the first hour or so, it was a little bit awkward, but I kind of fell right into it and uh, learned to uh, learn to really like it. Um, it's I kind of I feel like I would have preferred just a plain old, you know forward on the right and reverse on the left type system but it took me no time whatsoever to get used to this system and it's almost second nature now not quite of course but uh, it, it was not difficult to get used to over here of course we've got our brakes independent right and left brakes or you can attach them together and uh, have both of them going um, engine on off 
front end loader control with the third function throttle on the right side of the steering wheel. Here we are on the left side of the operator station. I hope that rain is not messing up the audio too much. Uh, but here we've got, of course, the brakes that I just showed you. We have the uh, emergency flashers, blinkers, lights, that kind of stuff. Here we've got a couple of buttons that have to do with the uh, regeneration system. Of course, it's a tier four diesel engine. And uh, this left one is to, it's a progressive regeneration system. And like I said, I don't know a ton about it just yet, but the one on the left stops the progressive regenerations. If, regeneration, if you're working like indoors inside of a reasonably ventilated place like a chicken house or something like that. And the one on the right, I really don't know what it does yet, but uh, we'll find out, I guess. And of course, all the gauges right here, uh, you know, pr pretty standard, I guess. Right here on the left side of the operator station, we've got cruise control, which is pretty nice. Uh, we've got low, medium, and high range on the hydrostatic drive. We've got the seat adjustment. No, I'm sorry, that's not a seat adjustment. That's the uh, control, the speed of your three-point hitch in the back up and down. The seat adjustment, I think, is on the back. Um, we've got the differential locker on the left and the four-wheel drive and gauge on the right. And that little bracket, uh, whatever you call it right there, is uh, to adjust the seat back and forth. So while we're at it, let's take a look at the engine. This is, of course, a Kubota Tier 4 diesel engine. Uh, it is about 49 gross horsepower, 45, uh, roughly 45 net horsepower, with 39 horsepower at the PTO. Now, those are kind of rough numbers. It's actually like 39 point something or another, but you know, that's close enough. Um, basically, it's gotten more bells and whistles than anybody uh, could have imagined when they put together an old Ford 3000. It's basically unrecognizable. But anyway, we've got a transmission oil cooler. We've got radiator, of course, and all this other stuff that I don't even want to pretend to understand. So here it is. Thought I'd just give you all a close-up look of everything. And... Uh, yeah, there it is. So guys, that's pretty well all I've got for this video. Uh, before we close out, I want to address something that I'm pretty sure I'm going to get in the comments section, but uh, the channel has not been sponsored by Kubota or Construction Attachments, the people that made the grapple. Uh, this is just something that I have been needing for a very long time, both with uh, brush removal on the property, uh, log moving, uh, that type of stuff, and uh, everything kind of lined up, and I was, uh, I was able to go ahead and get this particular machine. Um, and the dealership, the paperwork that I got from the dealership says it'll be mine in about five years so um, that's that's the story on that uh, now the reason that I decided to go with this this particular brand uh, over another brand is because my dad has got basically the same tractor uh, you've seen him on the channel before helping out with moving stuff and assembling the sawmill and he's got pretty much the same tractor it's about 15 years old it's a discontinued model but it's a 45 horsepower four-wheel drive Kubota with the uh, the loader on the front so pretty much the same thing and he's had a really good he's had really good experiences with his uh, no real no trouble out of it it's been super reliable strong machine and um, he knew the guy at the dealership that he had gotten his from so uh, we just kind of went over there together, my dad and I, and I uh, decided to get this, this one right here. So it kind of worked out well for everybody. It was a very smooth process, and, um, uh, and that's, that's, that's how we got to this point right here. Uh, the reason that I went with this particular one, the 4701, over another one is because I wanted something big enough that I could move uh, reasonably heavy logs around, uh, but I didn't want something um so big that i couldn't tow it behind my truck and i'm pretty sure i can tow this behind my truck without too much trouble um, i also didn't want something too small that i couldn't lift up uh, reasonably large sized logs with it uh, and it would be kind of useless so i went ahead and got to this machine uh, this machine was actually about five thousand uh, dollars more expensive than the next level down but you know it wouldn't have made any sense if i had gotten a uh, the model with with less horsepower and it wouldn't have been able to do what i wanted it to do so that's why we went with this one it wasn't too big it wasn't too uh, it wasn't too light for what i needed it for it was it was just right so and it's pretty well proven itself so far We've lifted quite a few logs with it and it has proved itself uh, without any ballast on the back. It does have some ballast in the back tires, but without anything else on the back, it does a great job. It lifts reasonably heavy logs without any trouble at all. 
and I've been very, very happy with it so far. So you're gonna see a lot more of this machine on the channel in the future, um, both with uh, moving logs, moving boards, uh, sawmill work, uh, all kinds of different things. And I'm very thankful that we were able to go ahead and get this. This is gonna be a huge work saver, time saver, back saver, uh, all of the above um, having, this, having this Kubota. So very happy with it so far, and I hope that y'all enjoy this video, and I hope that y'all enjoy the, um, the ensuing videos with this machine in them. But I will see y'all on the next one. Thank y'all. Bye.